Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a different video than what I normally do. It's not PvP or PvE. Today it's gold making. I keep seeing people talk about how PvPers can't make gold or there's no way to make gold from PvP. And I believe that is completely untrue. I have made 2 to 3 million gold since the expansion came out like two months ago, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. Gold making is something I have loved to do for a long time. I just never streamed it or ever made any videos for it, but I just love PvP so much and making gold, and I'm glad they're finally merging them together. So the first add-on, and the only add-on that I use and I would recommend is to get Auctionator. This is the only add-on I've used for a while. What it's gonna do is it adds these tabs down here at the auction house. And you can do a lot of cool things. So if you track a recipe, you could search and it's going to just pull up the mats that you need. So that's really nice. It's really handy. Also with selling, it's going to go through your bags on and tell you whatever can be sold. And you can just click on it and say, oh, let me, you know, post this. And you could post it. And it goes through every single item in your bag, which is great. For canceling, you can undercut scan and it'll show you what's been under. I've already been undercut. <laughs> I've already been undercut for that flask. So, and then you could just like click. All you have to do is click and you can you can cancel everything. So I really, I highly, highly, highly recommend this add-on. I can also show you another neat thing that does in the crafting section of this video towards the end. All right, so how am I making gold from PvP? The two biggest ways I'm making gold, 95% of my gold are from Vicious Bloodstones and Algari Competitive Patterns. And I'm gonna open up my mailbox here and this is just the last three days, I'm pretty sure. So you could see I got Vicious Bloodstones here, I got an Algari Competitors pattern here, I got another pattern here, more patterns, more Bloodstones, and I sell some flasks. I'll talk about in the crafting section as well. So most of the gold you'll be making are from the Bloodstones and the crafting patterns and you can actually farm them uh, if you are, want to put in a little bit of time. It, it's not much work. It just, just a little, it takes a little bit of time. So if you come over to this vendor over here uh, in the PvP section of Dornogel right here, you can talk to this NPC and you can see that they sell Vicious Bloodstone for 2,500 honor, right? So that is kind of how you make your gold. And then these are where all the patterns are, but I wouldn't recommend buying the patterns from here just because they cost 7,500 honor. It, it just doesn't, I, I, I wouldn't recommend, you can get three Vicious Bloodstones for that cost. So what I do is I just try to farm the patterns from pretty much any sources that have PvP. So the chest that drops in each zone, like every, what, 15 minutes, has a chance to drop a pattern. The socket, the free socket that spawns every six hours, and I have a video on where on how that spawns, I'll put it in the, in the description and in one of the corners here. That has a chance to drop patterns and vicious bloodstones, which is fantastic. And you could also get it. It's very low drop chance, but the boxes you get from PvP, from winning arena, BG Blitz, random battlegrounds, shuffle, all that, they also have a chance of dropping a vicious bloodstone or a pattern. Outside of just playing the game to farm honor and get vicious bloodstones and hopefully get a pattern out of a box, what else can you do to farm these things? Well, you can get them from multiple sources. The biggest way that I farm patterns and vicious bloodstone to get a chance at them is to go by the PvP world quest. So you see a PvP world quest up, I'll literally fly over there and I'll just hang out. And what that's going to do is hopefully you have some kind of world PvP. Ideally, you go into the bloody token quest line. So I think this week it's the hollow fall. So if there's a world PvP world quest, which there is, it's actually a really good time to go try and do it. You can go to the world PvP quest area and I just sit there and wait for a bounty to spawn. And then I'll try, I'll kill the, the bounty and then loot the bounty. And that gives a chance of the vicious bloodstone in a pattern. Same with the chest that spawns in each zone that flies, the supply crate. Loot, if you're on a high pipe realm, depending on Horde Alliance, it's going to vary. But on Sargeras, I'm an Alliance, we get every, every single supply chest. And so you loot that, you get a chance at Vicious Blood, Sound, and Pattern. So that's the ways that I farm it outside of just doing your normal uh, twos, threes, RBGs, you know, all that PvP. And it's worked out pretty well. You can get multiple bounties at the same time. Chests spawn every 15 minutes. So there's always something to try to farm. So let's say you want to take your gold making to the next step, and that would be to start using crafting professions. And this gnome mistweaver has jewel crafting, which I think is a pretty good profession. If you want to make gold, I would recommend blacksmithing, 
Tailoring is pretty good or leatherworking. Those are the three I would I would recommend. The reason for that is because blacksmithing and leatherworking, you can craft two different armor types. So blacksmithing, you can make plate and mail. And for leatherworking, you can make leather and mail, which I think is really good. Tailoring, a lot of people play mages, warlocks, priests. So you can make gold with that. But that's what I would recommend. This one's just a jewel crafter because I couldn't find any jewel crafting at the start of the expansion. And what you'll do with these professions is just craft basically alt gear that's what you're doing most people need to get a certain item level to queue for battleground blitz and solo shuffle or even just a step into the arena so you're just making catch-up gear and for jewel crafting it is rings and neck i make a lot of gold a lot a lot of gold from crafting rings it is insane but again you can make every single slot for multiple different archetypes for blacksmithing and leatherworking so i'd recommend those two professions and the one last trick from auctionator or one feature that does is you can open up the auction house with your profession up so i have jewel crafting i open it up on one side of the screen and what you can do is you could search for whatever piece of gear and it's going to show you how much it costs to make and how much profit you're going to get from it and that is like the best feature I think that this add-on has. It's amazing. And so I get 1500, 1500 gold profit just from crafting this. And it's just that simple. That's what I've been doing for since the beginning of the expansion. I remember when I first got the ring pattern, it was going for 90 K gold, but the rings were going for 50 K gold each. And I made like 30 of them. It is freaking insane. Even now these will sell. I promise you these will sell. A lot of people are leveling alts it's super easy to gear, but you still need to meet a minimum item level before you can queue for most things. And obviously people don't want to be undergeared going into arena. And this is what I do. That's how I make a, just a little extra gold on top of farming the vicious bloodstones with honor and trying to farm the patterns. You can also craft and make even more gold. All right. So just by farming PVP, literally just queuing arena, BG billets, solo shuffle, and buying the vicious bloodstones i got lucky with killing some bounties right the bounties can drop the patterns and the vicious bloodstones and just doing a little bit of alchemy i can show you how much i've made in the last four i think it's three or four days um and i've made 119k gold in four days very very straightforward ways of making gold i love that blizzard has enabled pvpers to actually make gold don't overcap your honor just buy the vicious bloodstones and sell them up on the auction house the RNG from the pattern, sometimes you'll get a pattern that's like 4k gold, sometimes you get a pattern that's 15k gold. I think one of my buddies Harambe got a pattern that was like 100k gold and it sells, especially if you're on a high pop realm. If you are on a low pop realm and you have a pattern that's not selling, you can use your warband and make something on like Sargeras, put the pattern in the warband bank and then just take it out when you're on Sargeras and put it up on the auction house. So. I think I got unlucky with this pattern as well. Yeah, this pattern is 234 gold. And you see all these flasks selling. So that's why, you know, I, I kind of like my my alchemy, even though it's not the best profession for making gold. I normally just throw 10 up in between, in between each arena game. I'll throw 10 up or something like that. But yeah, that is how I've been making gold. And uh, anyone can make gold, which is fantastic. If you have any questions at all about gold making, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.